So we're allowing teachers to carry in schools now. That's a bill that just got passed. So let's talk about it. So as you may or may not know, I am a Tennessee resident. I would say that the state, great state of Texas, or Texas, Tennessee is, great state of Texas too, uh, but the great state of Tennessee is a, is a gun, gun friendly state, obviously. I mean, the, <laughs> the Barrett M92 is our state gun. It is made right here in, in middle Tennessee. So even though, you know, this is a great <laughs> gun, gun friendly place, but uh, I'm getting sued for shooting on my own property. So, uh, but that's just one neighbor guys, just one neighbor. If you want to help with that, BDGG is the code for us all shield that helps us out with that. We really appreciate that. Uh, also, if you can go check out fat tech, they're the main sponsor of the channel. Fat tech's where you can find the fat tech holster, rods lower in your pants, all that stuff. Anyway, um, so they just passed the law for teachers to conceal carry in Tennessee. This is what I don't understand. You have people in the Capitol that went, while they were there in Nashville, of course, Nashville is a, believe it or not, a blue uh, county or blue city or whatever you want to call it. And believe it or not, it's getting worse. Uh, but in that, in, in the Capitol, when they were there talking about and passing the bill and all this sort of stuff a couple days ago, people erupted is what it said on the site that I was reading it from. They were erupting with chants and saying, how, you know, how dare you? And, and you're shame on you and all sorts of stuff. So what you don't want to allow somebody to carry to protect uh, uh, kids like that doesn't make any sense to me at all. You would rather have somebody, we're going to get into the specifics of the bill here in a second, but you would rather somebody that is arguing against it, you would rather take the chance and have somebody there not armed to protect your kids when somebody, if or when somebody comes into the school and tries to shoot up the place or to do evil to children. You would rather watch people die being a victim of an evil person versus having somebody there that wants to carry a gun for protection. That is the dumbest, most evil stuff I've ever heard. Seriously. For any person that would rather somebody be a victim to somebody else's evil rather than have that person carry a firearm to protect themselves and everybody else around them, that is evil as well, in my opinion. Now, the specifics of the bill uh, I don't necessarily agree with. The specifics of this bill that was passed, by the way. It absolutely passed, which is great. It passed, and the specifics of the bill say that you have to have at least 40 hours of training, you have to complete a background check and pass it, and you have to get permission from the sheriff's office or something like that. But, in my opinion, the state of Tennessee now is a uh, constitutional carry state. Before, you had to have it carry permits, so that's a whole nother thing, guys. Like, I believe in, like, Second Amendment is your carry permit. You don't need a, the government to tell you whether you can and cannot carry. Whole different story. But in Tennessee, you had to have concealed carry licenses or concealed carry permits, whatever you want to call them. And, um, and I think you can still have, I know I still have mine, but mine is a lifetime thing. So I don't, I don't really know what what good that would do or, or, or it wouldn't do. But anyway, you had to do those three things in order to be able to carry as a teacher. I don't necessarily agree with that um, because I think that anybody who wants to carry a firearm should carry a firearm. Do I think that they should want to get training? Absolutely. Do I think that they should be told you are you have to get training otherwise you can't carry not necessarily i i would think it's kind of like being saved honestly and that's the way it works it's kind of like being saved once you are saved you really don't care about the things that you used to care about that much and i'm talking about like the party and the secular things is what i'm saying so it's kind of the same thing it changes you once you 
realize that you don't want to be a victim and you don't want your children to be a victim and you don't want your family to be a victim. You don't want anybody else around you to be a victim of evil, stupid, evil people that will do this stuff no matter what. Because criminals are criminals. Laws don't apply to criminals. It's in the name criminal. Okay? So, back to what I was saying. You shouldn't have to... I don't think you... I lost my train of thought. But you shouldn't have to... ADHD, right? Or ADD. ADD? ADHD? One of them. Anyway, you shouldn't have to go by rules in order to carry a gun because... The Second Amendment is your right to carry a firearm because it's given to you by God, not man, not by the government. You are allowed to protect yourself by any means necessary, regardless of whether it's a gun, a pistol, uh, a knife, uh, AR, a rock, whatever you have in your hands. It is your duty to not be a victim and to protect yourself and your family, period. Whether you're mom, dad, whoever, it does not matter. That's my take on it. So, do I believe it's a good thing got passed? Yes, there's some talk about it being passed in 2016 uh, for two counties already or something like that, which they didn't know about or something. But either way, it's all a good thing. It's a, it's a step in the right direction because we are on, whether you call it the right or whatever, we are so far, we're, we're so much on the defensive because they're putting so many things out there to try to disarm us and try to do things like that, that we're on the defensive all the time by trying to play defense on what they're doing, when really we should be playing a lot of offense and putting things out there for people to pass, to be in our, in, in our, basically in our favor, so... In my opinion, yes, it's a good thing. No, I don't agree with everything they said um, as far as it being like the rule that you have to go by or whatever. Um, but it's a step in the right direction to setting those freedoms in place, right? So if you got anything out of this, uh, still in a straight from 37 Project. If you get anything out of this episode, hit subscribe. But anyway, really, if uh, if you really if you like this kind of content, hit subscribe and like and all this stuff. Please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. I'm gonna try to put more stuff out like this because I like this interaction and I like the comments and I like and I answer every single comment. If you don't think I do, literally go to any comment section on any of my videos and I answer every single comment. And it's me. I comment back on everything because I like talking to you guys and I like knowing what you're thinking. So please leave a comment down below because I really appreciate it. And obviously hitting the like and subscribe button costs you nothing. If you like my content, if you like the videos I'm putting up, please hit like and subscribe and, uh, and put a comment down below because it helps me get it out into the algorithm a little bit more. And uh, that's nothing. costs you nothing. So... I really appreciate it, guys. Until the next one, going to have a video coming out this week on the Canic Meta or Meta MC9, and it's a little bit different. I think I went all nut and fancy on this on this video coming out because uh, it's uh, it's got some tabletop, it's got a lot of tabletop, and a lot of uh, it's got range time footage in there and stuff too. So hit it up there, hit subscribe and all that stuff, and we'll see y'all in the next one.